Let's send some new cloud coins to BitMart for sale. In order to do this, we want to log into BitMart first so that we can get the special number or the memo that they'll give us. To find that memo, I want to go to my assets and I'll just go to spot. And then I'll choose my asset CC and make sure you click on CC and not dollar sign CC. Now that I've got this, I'm going to go ahead and look in for the deposit. When I do that, it's going to tell me that it needs me to include the address and the memo, which we'll do. Here's the address that we're going to send it to, cloudcoin.bitmart.com, and here's the memo tag that we're going to include. All right. Now I'm going to my coin manager. I cannot send coins direct, directly from my local wallet to bitmart.com. Do not go up here and go to transfer uh, CC or send to Sky Vault. Those will not work. We have to create our own Sky Vault, move money to the Sky Vault, and then move it to the exchange. So we'll start by creating a Sky Vault wallet. And I can do that by just clicking this plus sign here. I'm going to generate a new pass key. And I'll choose a name to use as my wallet. Now I've got a Sky Vault. And this is a Sky Vault that's located on the Rado. So instead of my coins being located on my local wallet, they'll be on the rate instead. Now I'm going to go to this new Sky Vault, go to new transactions, and I'm going to deposit from local, and I'll choose my wallet here, and I'll go ahead and load up 50 coins. Click on deposit. And now, those coins have been moved from my local wallet to my Sky Vault. Now I can go ahead and move those 50 coins to BitMart. To do that, I'm going to go to New Transaction and then Send to Exchange. The exchange that I want to send it to is cloudcoin.bitmart.com. So go ahead and put that name here. I'm going to send 50 cloud coins and I want to make sure I add this memo. Just uh, go ahead and copy that. Paste it here. All right, this is all I need. Their address, the amount, and the memo that they want me to provide for my wallet. I'll go to send to exchange. It's going to send cloud coins from our Sky Vault to their Sky Vault then it's going to tell their server to check to see if they've been paid. All right, so that has been sent. I can see that there is a transaction that, is, that it has been sent. Now I can go over here to BitMart again, and I'm just going to refresh. And then once again, if I hide the small balances, then I will see CloudCoin here on top. I can see that the amount of CloudCoins that I have has gone from 519 coins to 569 coins. So my deposit from my Sky Vault to BitMart has been successful. You will note that all of the money arrived and there was no fees at all. So as far as I know, this is the only currency that you can send coins and not pay any fees. So this is absolutely unique. Now let's go ahead and withdraw some money. I'll click withdraw here and I'm going to send via a crypto network. The we have to put the address in and uh, in order to do this, I've got to add an address to my address management. My address is test475.skyvault.cc. Uh, that's not going to add it. Uh, 
Uh, don't choose dollar sign CC, unfortunately. Here we go. Keep that network the same there. Now, the memo is optional, so we can just leave the memo and the label out. Okay, now I've got a withdraw address to choose from. I'll go back to my spot management by clicking on spot again. I will click the hide small balances again and find CloudCoin. I'm going to go ahead and withdraw. Send via crypto network. I'll choose the address. The amount that I'm going to send back, I'll send back 20. Oh, minimum amount 24. <laughs> I'll send back 50 again. Now this time they're going to charge us a fee. And I guess we have to live with that. Two cloud coins. I'll withdraw. We're going to need two codes. One code is a code that we receive in our email. The second code is a code that we get from our cell phone. I'll get the Google code from the Google Authenticator app that I have to download and install on my phone. And you should have done that when you created your BitMart account. Okay, so now I'm, I've got to click the send button. The send button is going to actually send the email to my email system. Okay, now I can go check my email. And I've got 60 seconds to write it in here. So while this is going, I'm going to go ahead and look at my Google Authenticator for BitMart. And I'm going to go ahead and write that code that's there. So I've got that done. Checking my inbox again. And I've got my BitMart number in my email. All right, I'll go ahead and submit that. Now the request, withdraw request has been created. Looks like I can check the details. And it shows that it is processing this request right now. Once it's done processing, I should be able to go to my Sky Vault and click on it. It will go out and check it. And I can see that I've already received 48 cloud coins. So that uh, transaction is done, although it says processing. All right, now I've sent cloud coins to BitMart and withdrew them from BitMart.